Flavor family, what is up? It is my dad, Johnny, and I coming at you on the north side of Chicago, about to go into our happy place, Costco. We wanted to do a shop along with us as we check out our weekly provisions here at Costco. We're gonna go in there and get everything we need for a week or two of stuff from Costco as soon as we get a spot here. Uh, before we get in there and do our epic healthy haul, uh, like, subscribe, share, you guys. The only way this channel keeps growing and rocking the way it has and helping people put good quality stuff in their body is by subscribing. And once you do that, uh, enable the bell icon right below the video. That way you get a push because you guys, every week we have what, like three haul videos, three live stream recipes. They don't want to miss out, right dad? Yeah. You don't want to miss out. Okay. We're good to go. Let's get inside Costco and do our thing. All right, we just walked in the door. I immediately see something that people love. They love this electrolyte powder mix here. And they have a new uh, flavor. What is this? Energy multiplier. So what are electrolytes? Electrolytes are essential minerals like calcium, potassium, stuff you need when you sweat a lot. The thing is, even though these have electrolytes in here in the form of, right there, there's the vitamin profile. The main ingredient is cane sugar. The second ingredient is dextrose, another word for sugar. And they also have natural flavors. But how much sugar is in here? There's 11 grams of added sugar here. You guys, that's almost three teaspoons of white cane sugar. Now, I know your body needs some sugar. It doesn't need three teaspoons in there. That's really bad news. Here's the new one, energy multiplier. So what does that mean? Energy multiplier, a little less sugar. Uh, what's the difference here? Oh, matcha. There's matcha tea powder in here. Everything else is the same. So just keep in mind when you're looking at uh, electrolyte mixes, you don't want added sugar. You don't want any natural flavors. That has almost three teaspoons or four teaspoons of added sugar, Dad. you believe that? Yes. See, John likes this. See, this is what he wants. Go ahead and grab one, John. This is one of the best things here. This is pure unflavored grass-fed collagen peptides. For $30, this is literally half the price of Whole Foods. Now, if they have it here, somewhere over yonder, sometimes dad, they make a flavored drink with that, with real strawberries and real blackberries. But for the cheapest price ever, just buy this like John did, 89 years old. We need all the collagen he can get. Mix in some lemon juice and you're good to go. But that price right here, $29.99, best deal ever. A lot of folks have been asking me about this and they finally have it at my Costco location. They're almond nuggets. And I like this brand because they make the coconut clusters that's already Bobby approved. So I'm assuming this is Bobby approved too. Let's see the ingredients here. Dark chocolate. It does have cane sugar, but how much cane sugar? See, it's three grams of added cane sugar per serving. Three grams is only less than one teaspoon. So it's not ideal, but I'm actually okay with it. Then look at that sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, uh, chia seeds, brown rice syrup. Uh, how many carbs are in here? It's a little high, so it's not keto. Some people are asking me if it's keto, but this is not ideal, but I'm gonna say it's Bobby approved because it's not that much sugar. 10.89, that sounds really, really good. Johnny, what'd you say? Johnny's gonna take a bag. All right, here we go. I sold them, should get a commission. So if you want the flavored Vital Proteins collagen water, this is one of the coolest things here. And it's normally $3 a bottle at, uh, at uh, Whole Foods here. It's a bit cheaper. It's $2 a bottle. Wow, what a great deal. So why is this cool? Because it has that grass-fed collagen powder that John just got right there, but they mix it into a drink for you. And instead of using natural flavors, they use real blackberries, real lemon, real strawberries. Now I wish they were organic berries because those are dirty dozen. Not the biggest deal in the world. This is so great, you guys, because it's a portable summertime drink that's actually so good and good for you. You get an added benefit of 10 grams of protein and it's good for your hair, your skin, right? It's gonna keep you looking good. Johnny's set, I'm set, let's move on. You need some beef? Meat, we'll get meat, but oh my God, this is, this is it. This is the, uh, the bald eagle in the flesh. Primal Kitchen Caesar dressing is in Costco now. It's not nationwide right now, but can you look at the price? It's half the price of most grocery stores. Have you heard of this? Uh, Dressing me for John? Primal Kitchen? No. no, this, okay, so this obviously will beat the pants out of anything you see here. Any ranch, any Olive Garden stuff. This is one of the best in class Bobby approved products because it's avocado oil based. I could pick up any other dressing here. It's gonna be soybean or canola oil based. Boom, it's gonna have sugar. Boom, it's gonna have calcium disodium EDTA, a nasty preservative. 
This, my friends, has none of that. This is one of the most tasty, clean salad dressings in the country. And the fact that it has this price for this size containers, wow. This is for sure going home with us. If they have this at yours, Costco, scoop it for sure, wow. You like Caesar? It's mm -hmm. good stuff. I can't come to Costco without getting the Rayos. Just ran out the other day. Sometimes the issue is you'll use half of this and then forget you have it or not use it and then it goes kind of moldy. But that's a marinara sauce. It's the best marinara sauce on the market for my money. But that being said, even if you waste a little bit, the price is just so darn good. You can't go without it. All right, this is really interesting. I've recently become in love with simmer sauces and pre-made sauces like a tikka masala. In fact, uh, I have a five ingredient semi-homemade tikka masala kebab with a blistered uh, peppers and yogurt sauce in my upcoming five ingredient cookbook. And the key is looking at the other ingredients. A lot of the ones I see on the market have cruddy oils and added sugar. And this one is not too bad. So everything's organic, which is great because tomatoes are often on the dirty dozen. Uh, the cream is organic, non-GMO. It does have a touch of cane sugar in there. But look at the rest of the ingredients. Really, really big flavors here. Cardamom, cinnamon, ginger. There's actually no oil in here at all. And there's only two grams of added sugar for a quarter cup. I could, I could live with half a teaspoon of uh, cane sugar for a quarter cup of this. Wow, and the price, that is amazing. Two big jars for $6. Try experimenting with this for semi-homemade meals and wait till you try my uh, tikka masala kebabs using that in the mixture and the yogurt sauce. It's fantastic. And then John and I just talked about the Rayo sauce. My only issue with Rayo, even though it's clean, is that it's not organic. And uh, tomatoes, Johnny, are on the dirty dozen. So if that does bother you, they also have this. Oh my God, that's a great deal. Victoria Organic marinara sauce. 240 ounces for $10.99. Wow, that's almost pretty much a little more than uh, Rayo's. The thing with this one is even, just as clean ingredients, extra virgin olive oil, no tomato puree, like the cheaper ones will be made with tomato puree. So I would actually, you're not gonna get this one too and do a taste test. I'll let you guys know which one's better, this one or Rayo's. But just buying these two at Costco, John, is literally half price than buying at any grocery store anywhere. It's a great deal. I can't tell you how many times I'm in this aisle and I see people grab a bag of this pancake mix or a bag of this pancake mix. Obviously this is the better of the two alternatives because they're high protein whole grain pancakes, but I want you to see the ingredients. A lot of people don't realize this, is that even though it's made with whole grain wheat flour, which is important because you want the whole grain, not the enriched grain, and whole grain oat flour, it's made with conventional, not organic flours, and they do add a touch of brown sugar. I could maybe be forgive the brown sugar with two grams of added sugar. But here's the problem with those kinds of flours. A lot of people don't know that. And John, I don't know if you know this. Conventional oats and conventional wheat are sprayed with glyphosate and Roundup. Why would they spray that with Roundup? Because they're used as a desiccant to dry out the oats and the wheat at the end of the growing process to make it quicker to harvest. What's well, better in terms of getting the money out of the field and processing, but it jacks up the glyphosate level. So if you're gonna have flour, number one, it's gotta be whole wheat, so it's a complex carb. Number two, it's gotta be organic. It's very hard to find pancake mixes that use organic flour and they don't add sugar. So if you're at Costco, this is your best choice because there's no flour here at all. Now, the only problem is, the price is not the problem, the price is great. It's not the best tasting. A lot of people don't love it. I don't mind it. I much prefer going on Amazon and getting that high key keto pancake mix. That's one of the best uh, ingredient and tasting keto mixes around. But there's no flour, there's no sugar. I mean, this is what you want. That's keto, absolutely fantastic. But whatever you get, just keep in mind, Traditional flours have the glyphosate, and if it's not whole grain, it's garbage. Speaking of garbage, what you looking at there, Johnny? <laughs> I was doing some experimenting with spice rubs from Costco for the upcoming cookbook, the five ingredient cookbook, and I chose this spice rub here for my five ingredient baby back ribs. And it's really good because number one, there's no salt. I don't like when they add salt to spice rub because I like to control the amount of salt, but it's organic and it's got 21 really nice spices in there. I wish it had more barbecue flavors, but what I did is I added freshly ground coffee to it with my ribs, with Primal Kitchen uh, barbecue sauce and some beer along with pantry staples. So this is actually really good. 
Art and I were joking, it kind of has like the worst name ever. Can you be any more generic with the organic no salt seasoning? Can you pizzazz it up with like Mediterranean citrus herb spice rub? I'd say that one and there's one more here, John, called the pork barrel barbecue. That might be out right now. That one's Bobby approved. It does have salt in there, just keep in mind. Say again? Yeah, on the surface, that does look good because it's two really good uh, sugar-free sweeteners. But if you read the other ingredients, Johnny, yep. it says natural flavors too. So it's a bunch of artificial flavors in there. If you wanted a really good sweetener here, you go right next to it. This is just pure uh, monk fruit sweetener with non-GMO erythritol and uh, monk fruit in here. One to one sub with uh, sugar. John just put some uh, extra virgin olive oil in here. He got the organic one. This is actually my cooking olive oil. It's very good quality. It's not like a, a high quality one to finish dishes with or salad dressings, uh, but it is a cooking olive oil for me. And look at the price. Where is it? The organic extra virgin olive oil is $10.79 right there. So I always have one of those. I always have one of these. Now here's the interesting thing. I don't know, John, if you've seen the news, there's a lot of corruption in the avocado oil industry because avocado oil is getting very popular. I mean, everything avocado is getting popular. Mm -hmm. They're cutting avocado oil with rapeseed oil, canola oil, and soybean oil. But that's not happening with Mexican and domestic production. It's happening with overseas production, in particular, Spain. So when you get your avocado oil, make sure it's produced either in Mexico or the US. I know Marian's is good. It comes from Michoacan, Mexico, or chosen food. Some Costco's have chosen food. That's another good one, but you don't want to cheap out when it comes to avocado oil. I actually use this deep fry in because the price here is just amazing. Two liters for $19, you'll spend twice that amount of money at like a Trader Joe's or a Whole Foods. So I always have those. And then in terms of other ones here, like this might be a better finishing olive oil. I haven't tried it, 100% uh, California. And then if you want to learn more about the oils here, I'll put a video up right here. Uh, teach you all about the healthiest oils and what to avoid like canola, corn oil, and that garbage. Where are you going? Apple juice? That's, that's a lot of apple juice, no? I'll pick it up, let me see. Not from concert. You want two of these big jugs? Too much. Too much, right? Yeah. All right. It's only so much apple juice one man can drink. Mango, Mango stuff is really popular now. Well, look how cool this is. This is shelf stable organic whole milk. Something that I wouldn't typically keep on hand, but for a pandemic like situation, this is cool because you don't see too many shelf stable uh, organic milks that are whole. I've seen reduced fat, I've seen 1%, but whole milk is where it's at because when you're talking quality dairy like organic, higher omega-3 fatty acids, higher conjugated anoic acids, really, really good stuff. Uh, so this is great just to have on hand. A six pack for $13.99. Wow, very cool. This is a uh, Corona approved. Hopefully no one's gonna be locked down anymore, but you might wanna have a case of that in your pantry. Ah, this is one of John's favorite items here. It's the honey but it's actually locally sourced raw honey. This is Great Lakes. Wherever you are in the country, look for locally sourced honey. Cause when you start getting honey that maybe comes from other parts of the world, which one? Oh, let's see, John got this. This is wildflower honey, but this isn't necessarily product of the USA, which is a little problematic because we talked about this before. John, I don't know if you know it, but China produces a lot of honey, but they cut it with rice bran syrup. So they cheat, they export it to Singapore first, then it comes here and you can't detect the uh, China. They produce the honey. Um, but the thing is, if you get locally sourced raw honey or locally sourced honey in general, they can't do that. I'd always go for wherever you live, locally sourced honey in this deal right here. What was it, John? 9.79 for a 48 ounce bottle is fantastic. Wow. And then sticking in the breakfast theme, I spy out of the corner of my eye. You eat a lot of oats, right, John? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you got the better one now. You got the raw one. You're stepping up in the world. This is, look at this, you guys. This is one of the best oats on the market. And now they have it at Costco. I've only seen it at Whole Foods. It's organic glyphosate tested. Look at this. It's non-glyphosate certified, which is unheard of in this industry. And it's sprouted. So you have to get organic oats. Otherwise, they're high in glyphosate. But they're the only one who actually sprouts the oats. What happens when you sprout oats or any grain? Uh, your body derives more nutrition from them and they're easier on your tummy to digest. So this is one of the coolest on the market um, and this price, oh my God, that is insane. I wanna say it's double the price at most grocery stores. So if you're looking for the best uh, 
oatmeal, it'd be this one and the organic steel cut. Steel cut actually has a little more fiber, but because this is sprouted, I'd probably go with that one. Very, very cool. <laughs> right next to the Reese's peanut butter cup. Let's just see how much sugar is in these. I imagine a lot of kids eat these. So we have 12 grams of added sugar. 12 grams of sugar is three teaspoons of added sugar per one cup. I feel like most kids have more than one cup. So imagine that much sugar going into their body. But they're also getting, let's see, sugar, dextrose, GMO processed canola oil, caramel coloring, unknown carcinogen, artificial flavor. Yikes, yikes, yikes. It's not the stuff you want to uh, feed kids. That's scary. <laughs> Do you guys tend to go for the Kirkland toilet paper or the Charmin? Obviously, Kirkland's cheaper. But to be honest, I like it better because it's not quite as soft as the Charmin. The Charmin's too soft. It really feels like you're wiping your bung with a bear. I don't like that. I like the Kirkland because it's got a little bit of abrasiveness, but not too much. I'm just curious which, which team you guys fall on to. I'm going to grab one of these. You need one too, Johnny? Yeah. Okay. What are you looking? You're getting this too? Mm -hmm. All right, so John just got the collagen tablets. Uh, I don't think you need the tablets because you have the powder. Now this is good for people who don't like powder, but the, the problem with these uh, U-Theory is that they're not grass fed. Why don't you just take a scoop of that once or twice a day in your tea instead? All right. Yeah, you don't need this. Even though it's on sale, it's not grass fed. I mean, it's not a horrible substitute, but I'd rather you get grass fed tablets. So that price is good, but it's still way cheaper to get the powder. Maybe make your own tablets, Walter White style, if you need to. But Johnny's good to go. All right, I think our shopping trip is done here. What do you guys think the damage is going to be? Over 250 or under 250? You think under 250 for everything? Uh, John's vote is in. Leave a vote down below. I say over for sure. 231. We still got a few more things to go. 29.99. All right, family, that was a successful shopping trip, but you can't leave Costco without getting that gasoline. Price has gone up a little bit, I have noticed, haven't you? But still a great deal. Awesome stuff, right? That was really great haul. Some fantastic stuff, especially in the middle aisle. So that's it. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you spread the love about Flav City. That's the only way we keep helping people put the best quality food in their body. If you want to see more summer Costco videos, maybe Costco hauls with recipes or other Aldi budget haul and recipes, let me know. Uh, two more videos are going below us right now. But John, there he is right there. Wedge, say hi, John. Goodbye. John and I will see you soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later.